Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. This is the last episode of making a game character and in this episode we're going to be importing everything into Unity. And in the last episode we fixed the armor so it works with animations. First thing we want to do is import the armor and the body into Unity. What we'll have to do is go to the modifiers tab and go through everything and apply the mirror modifier. Now if you come to the body and try and apply, you will get this error message saying modifier cannot be applied to mesh with shape keys. That's because in the last episode we added some shape keys. So what we'll have to do is delete the shape keys sadly, apply the mirror modifier, hide everything except our body, we can even hide the armature, and now make the shape keys again. Actually go into object mode first and add a basic shape key and a legs shape key. Select only one leg first and then press shift tab to enable snapping and then just scale and press shift Z and now just count. So one, two, three. Select the other leg and do the same thing. One, two, three. You can see again we have this rough transition here, so we'll just have to go ahead and fix that. You can press Shift Tab again, it might be a bit easier if we disable the snapping. Maybe bring out the butt a bit in. In edit mode. I mean object mode, if we enable everything with Alt H and then just hide the armor piece and select the body and try now, that looks much better right now. And now what we need to do is select all the armor pieces and only the armor pieces, press Shift Control Alt C and set the origin, origin to center of mass. Now we have to select the body and the armature, press Shift Control Alt C origin to 3d cursor which should be down here if it isn't just press shift c now select everything with a and press rx minus 90 to apply the rotation with control a you can press rx 90 to bring it back and then control a location and scale also one thing i would like to do is maybe thicken this back part a bit because I tested this and it kind of didn't work the best in Unity. So just bring it out a little bit and that's fine. Select everything with A, go File, Export, FBX and this will be Low Poly Human. Check this Selected Objects and check this part right here with Scale so it fixes it. And we're only going to import armature and mesh. You can select them with left click and holding shift. And now just cl click export. Next we want to export the animations. So save this. I recommend you save this as maybe low poly human final or something like that. And now we'll just go open and we'll open our idle animation first. Select the armature, go into object mode, shift control alt c to origin to 3d cursor and again rx minus 90 to apply the rotation bring it back with rx 90 and then just apply the location and scale select everything in here and now we'll just go file export fbx and yes you should only select the armature here because that's all we need and we'll just call this low poly human animation idle. Click the selected objects, apply the scale and click armature down here. Export this and now we'll go and open our run animation. So same thing again, we'll go into object mode, select our armature, click shift control alt c, origin to 3d cursor, select everything in here, press rx minus 90, Apply the rotation, bring it back, and then apply the 
scale and the location. Go file, export, FBX, animation run, selected object, check that down here and check, check the scale and export. Now we should open Unity. Once you're in your project, just open the folder where you saved it. So in here and you'll see the FBX files. So just select them by holding control and then just drag them in here. So if I import this into the scene, you can see that it is here and it looks good. We'll just set the position to 0, 0, 0, rotate it for 180 degrees. Now, the thing we have to do is go to our prefab right here, go to rig and set the animation type to humanoid and set the avatar definition to create from this model. Click apply. And now if you open this, you'll see we have a avatar here. Go to your animations and you can select both of them with shift and left clicking. Go to rig, set the animation type to humanoid avatar definition to copy from other avatar. Now just drag your avatar in right here and click apply. Select each animation and go into the animation tab and set loop time and check these three right here. Click apply. Do the same thing for the other one and click apply. You will see we have a little preview down here. If you don't have that, your yours probably looks something like this. So just take it and drag it out. Now we'll, what we need to do is create a character controller or a animation controller rather. I'll just call this anim controller. This is just a quick thing to show you. And now you'll drag that into your low poly human in the scene right here. Open that up. And just for, for example, we'll drag our idle animation in here. And if we click play, you should see the animation playing. And that is working, but there is one problem I cannot figure out. And it's this problem with the arm. I don't know why it does that, but it works, it works fine with no animation. But for the, for some reason it breaks here. So if somebody knows how to fix this, it will be very much helpful to say that in comments. I think it's just some armature location thing that needs fixing. And if you want to know how to make a character controller with animations, I do have a video on that. So be sure to check that out. There will be a link in the description and maybe a card in the upper right corner. And hopefully you guys enjoyed in this series. If you did, be sure to leave a like and tell your friends about this. Go follow me on my social media and of course, you want to subscribe because um, I'll be making more of this stuff and if you have any suggestions just leave it in the comments and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.